to Iran now, where it has been eight months since the death of a young woman in police custody triggered nationwide protests. And Iranian authorities are still struggling to regain control. Now, while mass protests have become less common, resistance against the Islamic leadership is visible everywhere. DW met some of the women defying the laws that they say limit their freedom. This is how Iran's capital looks these days. Women with headscarves and women without. In spite of the Islamic Republic's latest efforts to enforce the strict dress code it considers part of its DNA. For this act of resistance, they could face severe punishment. So to protect them, we are not showing their faces when they are speaking up. I still go out the way I like and with my favorite clothes. And other people's way of looking at me doesn't matter to me at all. Actually, not only men, but also other women do not have any problem with this. And they do not give me bad looks at all. The Islamic regime, however, does have a problem with it and has made hijab enforcement a priority. And while the so-called morality police are keeping a low profile on the streets, the regime has found other ways to put pressure on those that don't comply. Surveillance cameras are monitoring public spaces for women that violate the law. And more than 2,000 businesses have been closed for serving women without headscarf. And yet, many keep doing so because they fundamentally disagree with the Islamic leadership. This man tells DW under the condition of anonymity. I think it's a very backward movement. The idea they took is against the process of society. We are not really living 1400 years ago. To be concerned about women's hair in the park or subway. Today, we have many more important concerns and we face poverty and many political issues. I think the era of these restrictions has passed. And so even political analysts within the Islamic Republic admit the regime is losing control when it comes to this highly symbolic issue. The government finds itself in a paradoxical situation, which is both puzzling to themselves and others. While they claim to stand their ground, in practice they seem unable to take any action on the streets. The people we speak to here in Tehran are sure this is a result of the mass protests following the death of a young woman in police custody. I think what happened in this recent uprising was that we all learned courage. In my opinion, these fines and these restrictions that happen in society and that are increasing every day will not have much effect, because we learned how to be brave. Braveness that is making Iranian leaders nervous, because it could spill over to other restrictions the IR imposes on its citizens, and question their grip on power even more.